I've wanted to be a filmmaker since I was probably knee high to a duck, as long as I can remember. Hi, I'm Zef. I'm a Bronx filmmaker and founder of Alphabet City Films. I kind of looked at myself as a musician. Before you record an LP, you know, full-length album, you got to make some demos and you got to make release EPs. And I looked at short films like they were the EPs before going on my first full-length. So on my first short, Black Cherry Cheesecake, I remember having that feeling of not being as prepared as I would have liked to have been. And I think for a lot of first-time filmmakers, maybe there's never enough time. And I had cast all these different actors, and some of them were SAG actors that I not really known or had worked with. And so I felt a sense of pressure. And I wanted to cancel the shoot or postpone it. And then I was about to reach out to one of the actors and uh, it was the actress that was the lead and she was in the movie. So I go onto her website to look at her contact information and she had her, like a news section. She, she said, I'm proud to announce that I'm gonna be in the short film, Black Cherry Cheesecake. And then after I read that, I said, okay, I can't cancel it. You know, like people were really depending on this happening and I just gotta bite the bullet and do it. And then I tried to prepare as best as possible but I felt like on the first day of shooting, everything that could have went wrong, went wrong. It was in April, but we had like sub-zero temperatures or so it felt like. So we're filming these outdoor scenes, but the actors are trying to stop themselves from going numb. I would cast one of the actors, the leads, based off his demo reel, not realizing when he stepped off the train and I picked him up, he was about like six foot five and total mismatch in terms of height with the other actors. We had equipment malfunctions, wires that were missing, all these different things. It had to rush from location to location. It was one of the most nerve wracking days of my life and one of the most stressful days of my life. And we managed to kind of pull it together. And then when I got to my studio that night and we were projecting the dailies, I realized, okay, this was one of the best days of my life. I think I just felt like it was time to make a feature. You know, I don't want the financial aspect of it to stop me from making a feature film. That pent up frustration led me to really sit down and write the trouble. I said, okay, if we do it for this amount of money, what kind of feature film could we shoot? You know, if it takes place in the Bronx, if we gave ourselves these kind of rules and restraints and then basically constructed a feature film around that. And I think it turned out pretty nicely. The film's called The Trouble, and it's about a guy named Billy, who's sort of this computer geek that plays underground poker. And because his favorite poker websites got shut down, so he starts playing these in-person games. Turns out the in-person games get shut down by the cops, and the thugs that are running these games assume that it's Billy's fault. So Billy, being way over his head, hires this hitman named Pitt to help him and his girlfriend out of the situation. And it just goes in an unlikely direction. And the whole thing is kind of an urban western. Making a feature length film and the intensity of shooting like 17, 18 days in a row and then a number of other pickup days and you know, kind of the perseverance of that and working with the crew for that dur duration of time, it is a new experience in a positive way, but I think um, it's something that you have to kind of build up to. At least that's how I felt. For me, I watched Scorsese's work and it really kind of hits close to home. And I know like Scorsese was the son of Italian immigrants, I'm the son of Albanian immigrants. There's that New York sensibility in the both of us. And um, his work just really resonates with me. And there's, there's tons of filmmakers that are deeply influential and a wide variety and I have an eclectic taste in the films but I would say Scorsese is probably the most influential. DIY, just do it yourself. You know, don't wait for a studio to green light your project. Don't wait to get millions of dollars. Just we're in the digital age. It is the digital revolution. Films can be made for cheaper. You know, use that to your advantage, you know. You know I think and I say this from time to time, I think the digital camera is done for the filmmaker what the pen 
did for the writer at some point. I think anybody could make a movie. Now, that's not to say that somebody's going to, just because they have pen and paper, they're going to turn out the next great American novel. doesn't mean a filmmaker is going to turn out a masterpiece, but it shouldn't be a limitation. Financial reasons shouldn't be a motivation not to make a film. Well, I kind of have a slate of projects that, you know, if given the opportunity, I could kind of shoot them back to back. You know, The Trouble, Instant Gratification is a script that's written. There's a film called Street Fight that's a passion project of mine that I wrote before each of these films that uh, that's almost semi-autobiographical. So I think that's probably the project that hits closest to home. And I feel like those are always the toughest projects to get made, you know, for whatever reason. But I guess when the time is right, you know. I'm Zef Koda, and this is The Bronx Focused.